Hey guys, Jeff here, long time no see. We finally made it from Seattle to Maui. We are moved in, we are settled, and this is my new office and hopefully video room, so hopefully you'll be seeing more of it. By the way, if you want more information on the move, check out our podcast on iTunes where we tell that story. But for my first video back, I wanted to answer a question I get a lot and something that I've struggled with myself, and that's what to do when you don't feel God, or what to do if you feel like you're struggling or you're dry and nothing is happening. Now, first of all, let me say you are not alone. One of the first things I always tell people is, man, so many people, even in the scriptures, can identify with you or that you can identify with them. Open up the Psalms. I mean, it blows my mind that David, right, a a man after God's own heart, this guy who just had these beautiful Psalms and and, and worship songs, uh, he he knew what it was like to lament, which by the way, I think 70 or 80 percent of the Psalms are lament, which is fascinating because it means grief or hurt or pain or struggle. But when you turn on Christian radio, I don't think it's the same proportion, which is an interesting thought. David knew what it meant to grieve, to to struggle, to to hurt, and then also take all that. And really, he was super honest with God. I think one thing we have to do is we have to be honest with God about our struggles. I think we have this 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 idea that we have to be nice and tidy and packaged and kind of plasticky and put together for God. When He wants our rawness, He wants our brokenness. Be honest. If you're mad at Him, tell Him. If you're if you're sad, if you're grieving, if you're hurt, if there's pain, tell Him and be honest and lay it all out there. There's something about the brokenness and the rawness where God comes right alongside that and says, I know you, I see it, I'm with you, I'm for you, and I love you. Another thought is a quote I I heard the other day where I think it said something to the extent of, don't forsake in the dark what you learned or heard in the light. And what I think that's saying is, God doesn't give us the mountaintop experiences so that then we can try to pull that mountaintop experience into our whole life and make our whole life a mountaintop experience. He gives us those mountaintop experiences as, as, as special times with Him and special revelation where we can grab hold of those truths, where we can learn them, we can soak in them, and then take those into the valleys and the times when it's hard because we'll need that. There, there's, it's almost like a flag in the ground where God meets with us and says, hey, I want you to know this and I want this to be special so you can take this with you on your journey. It, it's like what I tell people that, you know, and I especially know this is true being in Seattle because we only see the sun like two days a year. But when it's cloudy or when it's overcast, you don't doubt the existence of the sun, right? When it's cloudy or overcast, you know it's just a bad day, but the sun is still there. It doesn't just disappear, right? It might disappear from your view. You might not see it that day, right? But you don't doubt its existence or that it's there and that it's not doing its job. And so, uh, uh, that's true with us in Jesus, that when it's a cloudy day, when it's a dark day, when I feel like we're blinded because of what's happened to us, or, or it's dry, or we're struggling, understand that God is there, and again, He's for you, He loves you, and just as sure as the sun shines bright, so His glory and His love will shine towards you. And the last thing I tell people, which I think specifically a lot of young people, including myself, uh, do, is we do away with all our disciplines and our rhythms whenever it's hard and when it's a dry season. And the three I think of that I think are very important that we need to keep to, specifically those seasons is scripture, prayer, and community. We need to stay in scripture. Don't forsake scripture just because you're maybe not getting anything out of it that day. Uh, 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 Scripture is uh, uh, parallel to food, right? And sometimes it's a steak and it's the best thing in the world and it's amazing. Sometimes it's just like a protein bar and you don't feel like you remember it because it's not that good of a meal, but you still needed it. And so be in scripture, be in prayer, commune with God, be raw, be honest, and then be in community. That one's huge. I think specifically young people, again, me and you, uh, uh, what we usually do is when it's a hard season or we're struggling, then we actually pull away from community. We isolate ourselves and it gets worse and harder and harder when God actually gave us community specifically for those moments that they can be with us, they can pray for us, they can love us and then we can do the reverse to them when maybe they're having a hard season and we're having a good season and it's this dynamic and this family atmosphere that's so beautiful. So none of those are groundbreaking by any means, but I hope that one of you guys or some of you guys out there had to hear that either tonight, today, whatever time you're watching this, that God is for you, he sees you, and might we be people who don't doubt the existence of the sun when it's a cloudy day. We stay in scripture, we stay in prayer, we stay in community, and we keep soaking in God's love for us in Jesus. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Harry's. Now, if you don't know Harry's, they are incredible. People ask me how I get my fresh lineup. It takes precision, that is for sure. But Harry's is a shaving company that is incredible. They're almost half the price of going to the drugstore and getting those cheap blades, but they're even better. Their packaging is absolutely incredible. It comes with shaving cream and different razors and all these different things. Now, if you go to harrys.com and you use the promo 
code Jeff, J-E-F-F. They will give you $5 off. It's free shipping and it's sent right to your door. When you help them, it helps me. So check them out, harrys.com, promo code Jeff. That's all I got. Oh, and also make sure to subscribe, check out our podcast and see my store below. Take care.